I am going a different way to work and uh, because there's traffic, I'm, I'm going through Green Lake and I'm coming up on Wallingford and I just wanted to show you guys how cute this little neighborhood is by Green Lake. So there's the PCC, that's uh, the grocery store. Kind of fancy, like a Whole Foods type of thing. And these super cute, just little old, um, 100 year old houses here by Green Lake. And then we're mixed in, this is kind of the ugly side where this is Aurora Avenue, <laughs> Highway 99, my my nemesis street. But um, here in this part, it's got uh, just like shops and things behind me. I don't know if we can see in the back. Behind me is Green Lake, like a uh, half a mile away or something. And uh, so this is like where a lot of people would live. You could live here in a condo. There's a lot of housing in this area. And so it's easy to shop. And it's also easy to get over to uh, the lake. So that's where you're gonna go jogging, dog walking, stuff like this. Of course, it's raining. It's June, it's 55 degrees. It's not my most beautiful summer weather that I always promise you guys, but uh, it's not too hot. I've got clients moving here from Texas and they're like, oh, I can't wait to get out of the heat dome and everything like that. So there's the rapid ride bus. That's a good commuter option. This is Aurora. So this is uh, an alternative north-south main arterial if you're not going on the freeway because it's real backed up. So I had great traffic until about 80th and then I got off here and I'm coming south on Aurora now. Okay, we finally made our left on Aurora and then you can see Green Lake here on the left as well. You might see some people jogging and uh, unfortunately this is not a good place to cross over to the lake, but there it is. And it's about a three mile totally flat, which is important in Seattle, <laughs> running, jogging, biking track, going around the lake here so that you have a chance to uh, get some exercise, get out, see and be seen. Uh, there was a guy that used to walk around there. He's an old guy. He had a sandwich board on. He would say, learn to speak Spanish, $10 for half an hour. And he would just, that was his business. He would walk around the lake uh, and then you could pay him to walk with him and speak Spanish together, which I thought was a great idea and got him fit, got him outside, got him some extra money and so forth. And then um, close to here, we also have Woodland Park Zoo the upper woodland uh, park. There's baseball fields and soccer fields. Uh, that's where I used to run cross country in high school. So we would go on three mile runs through that park. Uh, there it is. And so if you do want hills, we had some notorious hills called the Camelbacks, up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, so you can definitely get a hill workout pretty much any place. You see the little flags for the animals and stuff at the zoo. Any place that you want to go in Seattle, you can get a hill workout unless I specifically tell you this is a flat place you can go. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Woodland Park Zoo. You can get a membership there. You can go walk around there with your baby stroller and um, it's a, let your kids off leash, right? It's a very fun. Um, a lot of people here in sort of Green Lake, Finney Ridge, Wallingford like to do that if they're like a stay-at-home mom or something and uh, yeah I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm going you see just the top of the Space Needle right ahead of me there it's on the other side of Queen Anne Hill up ahead but uh, we're in the right ballpark going south toward downtown all right so we just turned off Aurora uh, this is a lot of the condos high-rise not super high like three stories so this right here would be a single family home townhouse type of thing that's an older house and then um, they also have condos like here's new construction townhomes across the street looks like everybody gets four stories and a rooftop deck and here's one of my favorite little murals in this underpass area so uh, just kind of getting the idea of the old and new, the juxtaposition, but um, this is 46. My office is on 45th. So we're gonna be going in that direction again toward Wallingford and Fremont here. And in this area, we're also starting to get fairly close to the University of Washington, which is on 
the east side. I'm always like northwest, east. Yeah, the east side of I-5 at 45th. So you'll start to see more people who are like college students affiliated with the university um, walking around as we get, we're on the west side of I-5 right now, but when we get to the east side of I-5, which we won't on this trip, but this is kind of the latitude that you'd be at to expect to see the college honeys, <laughs> male and female. <laughs> Now we're kind of circling around, heading back toward Green Lake a little bit. Woodland Park, Newtown Homes. You can really pretty much tell what's old and what's new. There's a off the wall school of music. So cool. Um, ah! There's a lot of stuff that's cool here around the 45ths. My name is Emily. I'm so glad that you took a few moments to watch this video and really get a feel for what it is like in this neighborhood. Feel free to hit me up on my website, homeproassociates.com. I'm here to help and looking forward to connect with you. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.